What's up guys, Rockstar Chris here, and I'm going to be uh, going through a tour of my currently unfinished gaming room. Uh, I built this room in the basement, uh, basically because this is the most soundproof spot in the house, and two of the walls uh, are solid concrete because I built it in a corner, and the other two walls are uh, two layers of drywall thick. So that provides a lot of soundproofing. Now the biggest hurdle is the uh, gaps up between the uh, drywall and the uh, rafters up here. Well, I'm going to be filling those up with foam. I didn't want to attach the walls directly to the, uh, the uh, rafters here in the basement because basically the roof of the basement is a floor upstairs. So... I didn't want any vibrations coming down onto the walls, and I think the foam is going to uh, kind of absorb the vibrations. Over here I have my uh, construction supplies um, just kind of strewn, strewn about. And let's walk over here. This is going to be the entrance. And I've got a, uh, this door is just a door we had lying around the house. I didn't want to go just buy another door just for this uh, room so uh, it fit perfectly um, I cut it out and door fit perfectly in the spot I just need to do a little more trim work here and that part will be done let's uh, go on in here and uh, first off uh, this is my TV it's a uh, it's a five-year-old apex TV I've had it since 2013 and it's worked out great for me um, for what I do and it's uh, 32 inches is like a perfect size for this room because this room's, uh, I don't know, about 10 feet by 10 feet, maybe 10 by 12 feet. So it's not very big. And uh, the, so you don't want a too big of a TV in front of you or it'll be too close into your, in your face. So I'm just going to stick with this TV until it goes out or I find a, a really good deal on a new TV. Now let's go over here and oh, let me just show you my uh, controller here. I had to turn it on. Um, this is going to be my Xbox One controller. Uh, I actually got this for free from GameStop. My uh, I bought an Xbox One S from them, and the controller went out about. Uh, almost a year into having it and I took it into them and they basically said I can have any controller I want so I uh, I picked this one I think it's called like the recon it's got some uh, grip right here that's kind of like a gold color and some of the buttons just feel a little more like solid so it's a it's a lot better controller than what I had now up here I have my gaming headset um, it's nothing fancy it's uh, an Astro but it's only the A10 model well, it's the Astro A10 I, I think I picked it up like for like 60 or 70 bucks Astro is a really really good brand and uh, even this headset is really really good and the uh, chat is really good when you're playing in party chat online so, um, eventually I'll, just like with my TV, I'll probably get a better one in the future, but this, this works for me, so why, uh, why fix it if it's not broken? Now, over here, I have my Xbox One S. I got it a little bit before the Xbox One X came out. I think I got it, like, about a year before, and... I just I got a really good deal on it because the Xbox One X was coming out. I don't know. I I do want to get an Xbox One X, but they're just way too expensive right now. So um, I'm just going to keep using this. Now in here I have a whole bunch of uh, component cables. You probably can't see batteries for my controller, um, covers for my controller. Just uh, that's kind of like my junk drawer of my TV stand. Then you uh, go down here, there's all my boxes and everything for my controller, microphone, Xbox, a uh, whole bunch of stuff, HD, PVR. 
All right, now we're going to go over here, and this is my, basically my workstation. Uh, this is where I do everything. And over here, this monitor, uh, I think it's, uh, God, I don't know how many inches it is, but it, uh, it works out for what I need it to do. My, uh, my parents used to own a uh, retail store and had about six of the exact same computer with the same monitors and keyboards. And so uh, when, the, uh, business, uh, when the business closed down, uh, I basically inherited one of the uh, computers and monitors. So I've just been upgrading this computer ever since. It's, it's, uh, the computer's an Acer. It, it was uh, bought in like a business package because we bought so many of them. So it didn't have all of the uh, crap that comes on uh, computers when you buy them from like stores like Best Buy and uh, regular retail stores as just a regular customer. It uh, it was basically bought as a business computer and didn't have just all the uh, I all just those crappy programs that you always have to delete when you uh, do a system restore. And um, it's not a very fancy computer. I just have a basic graphics card, a uh, 350 watt power supply, and uh, I'm. And I think I have only 4 gigs of RAM, and it's got Windows 7 on it still. And I'm able to do just just about everything on it. Um, I don't do any PC gaming other than League of Legends at the moment. And I can play League of Legends perfectly fine, and uh, I can uh, edit videos perfectly fine. It's uh, fast, and uh, I use, to edit my videos right now, I use Windows Movie Maker. It just, uh, I've been using it for years, so it's just uh, easy to use for me, just because I know how to use it. And up here, this is my uh, netbook. I basically keep it next to me in case I'm doing something on my other computer and I need to look something up or if I need to uh, have something else running while I'm uh, playing a game. It's just my all-purpose computer. I can take it with me wherever I want. Um, it's just a Toshiba netbook. I know they don't make netbooks anymore. Uh, they, the netbooks are basically tablets nowadays with a keyboard attached. But this, uh, I don't know, this little netbook's been working good for me. And uh, it's perfect to have for uh, just taking around the house and doing what you need to do. All right, over here. This is going to be my mic. It's a, it's a blue snowball. It's got the stand on it. Um, I actually just got this today. And it works perfect in this room. Uh, I have to turn the mic volume down to about 20 or 30%. Because the room is so enclosed that um, it, it can pick up my voice perfectly fine. Even uh, like three feet away. Uh in this room even at 20 or 30 percent volume if i crank it up to uh, anything higher than that then it uh it can pick up noises anywhere in the basement here but it's a awesome microphone and it, it works about 10 times better than the microphone i have been using so let's uh go up here that's going to be my hapage hd pvr 60 it uh Records in 1080p and 60 frames per second, which uh, it's one of the only uh, video capture devices that does that. The other one I know of is the Elgato HD60. But the reason I like the uh, Hapage is I, I've owned one before. I used to have the Hapage HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. And I know how to use it. I know they have little quirks with them, and sometimes they're hard to get working. But I, I, know, I knew that getting into it, so I, I was able to get it working perfectly fine. And uh, it's uh, it, it works great. It's uh, you can see over here. I have it opened up on my computer. 
Um, you can see the game I have open on my Xbox. And it, I got a great deal on it. It's, uh, it's not supported by OBS, which is unfortunate at the moment. It's like the only Hippage PVR that's not supported by OBS. But I basically just, for the most part, record videos just directly onto my PC. And what's great about the Hippage is um, a lot of the video uh, stuff is done on the Hippage, whereas the Elgato HD PVR... It uses a lot of your uh, computer's uh, power to uh, basically like render videos and just do all the video stuff. So um, this has been working out great for me. I think I picked it up really cheap for like 150 bucks, and uh, you can see it's surrounded by a bunch of uh, Star Wars, um, Disney Infinity characters. And then over here you can see my wall of Skylanders. I uh, I go to a lot of like garage sales and stuff like that. And I, uh, I pick up these Skylanders all the time. So I have like a huge collection of them. I don't really play the Skylanders games. But I think the uh, figures are pretty cool. Alright. And then what do we have next? My keyboard and mouse are just uh, like with the monitor and the uh, computer just basic keyboard and mouse um, I I know a lot of people like those uh, like glowy mouses and keyboards but uh, I kind of I had one of those before and I kind of feel like those are a bit distracting um, seeing all that glowing in the corner of your eye all the time so uh, I, I skipped out on the whole glowy keyboard and mouse thing. And plus, uh, like I said, I don't play many PC games. I'm mainly into uh, console games now. Alright, over here I have my secondary computer. Well, technically this is my third computer here. Or fourth computer, sorry. Um, this computer down here is an e-machine. It's a... Uh, Got Windows set, uh, Windows 8. It's a bit newer than my Acer. I think this one's from like 2012. So it's still old, but it's newer than the Acer. And it's almost brand new. Um, barely ever been used. And I, I only use it right now for storage. Um, just to store extra videos on. Um, because getting external hard drives gets really expensive. And my videos, uh, I film them in, uh, in 1080... Uh, HD 60 frames per second so my videos can be anywhere from you know 3 to 8 gigabytes each depending on you know how long they are basically um, up here this station here is supposed to be for my secondary computer that that monitor doesn't really go here I just put it here for storage for now um, that monitor I use usually use with my storage computer down here but i i normally have a, another computer down here which is a uh hp uh it's got it's still got windows vista on it so there uh, i can't do much like video editing or anything on it i usually use this computer for uploading videos um online or um just doing other just random tasks with videos um, I, I don't have, like I said, I don't have any editing software on it yet, but, um, I'll probably put some version of Windows Movie Maker on it once I get hooked up. I don't have the computer right now because I'm letting someone borrow it, um, but once I put that back here, that, that computer is going to, uh, go where the E-Machines computer is. And then the e-machines computer is probably going to go in between my computer desk and TV stand. Down here, I just have a whole stack of uh, Xbox One games, Xbox 360, um, a few PC games. Down here is my uh, fire lock box. I keep all my uh, uh, important like files and passwords and stuff in there, so please don't steal it from me. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, this light up here doesn't actually go in this room. I just put it in here 
just uh, so you could kind of see stuff a bit better. I like it darker in here when I'm recording. And uh, so this is what it usually looks like in here when, uh, when I'm doing recording and stuff. So that's basically it. That's my uh, setup. I got my uh, printer back there and you know out of the way and this of course here i'm sure you saw is uh my sour patch kids i, I always eat sour patch kids when i'm uh playing video games it's the uh, best candy in the world this is my uh pen and paper so uh if i need to edit a video i uh... and over here you can see uh that uh colorful stuff on the walls that is uh basically like carpet padding um it's uh i was going to get the acoustic foam to panels to put up there but i decided to just go with this for now and in the future i'm probably going to uh put some acoustic panels up in certain spots but i don't think i need them on the entire walls but this uh padding i put up it actually helps out really good I couldn't find anything on the internet about using it as soundproofing and I used it and it works so you're hearing it from me right here right now it works